I always buy a thousand. I thought it was stores. like four dollars. Yeah. Now it's like six fifty or so. You know, not quite doubled, but that's still a lot of money. Yeah. When you. Oh, there's a bigger bass, Charles. Am I recording? Oh my God, I'm recording. Charles, this is a big one. He's here. <laughs> I found him. Don't come unhooked. This is just my lucky rod and reel now. Nice. Get him out of the grass. Oh my God, he's coming up. Oh, Charles. This is the big one. Charles. You ain't gonna believe it. Let me back, I'm trying to back the boat up. I'm he's thinking up. you, uh, oh, he's got, he's got a little light rod with oh my God. no drag set. This is, I think he's in the grass. I don't wanna. Oh, I might have to just start pulling. Um, you sit there and fight that oh dink, God. and I'm gonna catch some fish. I'm gonna have to pull him up with grass and all, I think. Well, that's what it is. He's not big. He's just grass. No, he's huge. Whatever. Dude. I'm telling you. Oh, it's a giant. I just saw him. Is that a green? He's huge, Charles. Holy shit. Oh, shit. That is a big bass. That is a giant fish. Yeah, that is. Whoa. I told that's you. That's a big girl. That's the one you caught before. Yeah, that's at least that fish or it's gotten bigger. Oh, my God. Hang on. It's got like a... God. Pound what is that? Six? Dude. Five and a half? Six? Let everybody see it. Get Man. over here! Oh my god! Holy cow, that is. Woo! Oh my goodness! What is that? Oh my you gotta weigh god. that one. That Nine, is probably ten. my personal best. I would say so. Woo! I never caught one that big. Look god. what I drug in with it. That is the 661 <laughs> Kind Teton with the PW100. Oh my god! Freaking BFS fishing. Look where that hook was. Just. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow. You I got to weigh that. Dude, oh, that is right ridiculous. Now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. What I have going, I'm still fishing my worm, waiting on Charles. Here's what we got going on. Charles has challenged me to a race in his kayak. He's got a trolling motor for it. And we're going to see if Old Betsy, my 40-pound thrust here on Old Betsy, the SS Minnow. Yeah, I copied Gilligan's Island. Sue me will uh, stack up against the kayak with the trolling motor. Now that's not the highest tech trolling motor. They got those crazy ones that fit down in there, remote control, spot lock and all that. That's not what we're racing. What we're racing is basically this probably same equivalent of what I have on here. And we're just gonna see how fast I guess this, cause Charles, I don't think you've ever, you've never speed tested any of your boats, right Charles? Like track them with your depth finder or whatever. I know that crazy John boat Charles has. He put that uh, trolling motor on it last year. The bout knocked me down on how many times when you take off. And it's definitely fast enough to cover all these types of uh, pits and ponds and stuff. So anyway, buckle up, hang on, get ready for the race. It's about to go down. I'm, in, I'm trying to still catch a fish while I'm waiting on Charles. Because out there, even where you see that little bit of grass, that's real shallow and it gets real deep. And we're actually setting in like setting on top of five foot of water where we're at just off the bank over here. But as we were coming in and all through this whole pit, anywhere that is 15 foot or shallower, there's still like grass all the way across the bottom. And then in the deeper 20 foot spots, it's not clear enough the grass doesn't grow there. But there's got to be fish that just live there. I'd say year round. Look at that. Just something just took off in there. A bunch of little something. But anyway, the bite's tough, so we're doing a uh, boat and kayak right. race. It's about to go down. Here comes Charles now. He's going to get staged up. Do you think that thing's going to move faster than my boat? Anyway, here's the competition. We got Charles in the Flint. Uh, new canoe Flint. New canoe Flint. I'm in. It's the Bass Baby from Bass Tracker. You guys know the boat. And it's my it you know what this is this is a fancy version because there's there's a few things i like i like double wide i like my house to be a double wide my truck to be a dually and i like my canoe or my kayak to be a double wide that's why i prefer this two-man bass boat now charles has called me out back up where are you going he's trying to get a head You're start up. You're the one on the so i ain't even putting it down so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna get real aerodynamic. So I'm gonna sit down here. 
and me and Charles are gonna race. And I'll show you guys, you'll see some of the footage as far as where Charles at, but I do this, uh, Charles motors, or the depth finder's looking a little nasty. Now you can't use that. We ain't gonna use oars. You wanna go to oars too? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to get as dead setting beside each other as we can. And, oh, he's got a water snake trolling motor. We don't care, because we got a El bulldog. El Cheapo Walmart. Bulldog 40. Is that a brand new one? Yeah. Did you buy that brand new? Yeah. That thing is about 10 years old, but motor guy, do they do make very good, uh, what brand, is that a, that the name brand, water snake? Yeah. Uh, they don't even make carry motor guide or min coat anymore? No, they do, just not for cut. Okay. So let me, I guess, bump myself up a little bit. Now I got her on high. I got her on high. Don't worry. We're taking off in high. We ain't going to shift no gears. We're going straight in high speed. So let me stop. I got so low. Hang on. Now Charles. Okay. Hang on, Charles. I got to get this boat. I don't have any brakes on a boat. I can't get... Oh my God. Hang on, Charles. Let me just bump it. Okay, we're about where we need to be, but he's he's still got like, how long is that boat? This one, 11 Oh, I'm only eight foot, so you're, I gotta get. No, we need to be, but not the, not the answer. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no. All right, hang on. You're still running. I'm backing up. Okay, are we even? Yeah. You guys think we're even? Close enough? Hang on, I gotta get mine straight. I gotta get her in high. Are you ready? On the count of what? Who's gonna count it off? One, two, three, go. Here we go. Oh man, this is high speed. Charles is off, but he's he's angled wrong. He's all out of whack. I don't know about this. He's outrunning me. Look at us. Come on! <laughs> Get in the water, Tetan, and help. We're gonna try to help with the Tetan. Look at that little old trolling motor. We're going two mile, two, almost two and a half mile an hour. See that? And Charles is definitely pulling. I, how fast do you think you're going? Four or five mile an hour? With a little bitty old trolling motor. That's a little bitty old thing, but them kayaks are, they just stay up. They're not as stable. They, even though you get a real stable kayak, you're not going to get as stable as a two-man bass boat. But he just smoked us. I'm still tapped out at 2.4 mile an hour. Now I got two batteries, you know, I got dual batteries, all my seats, everything in. But definitely smoked us on that one. I don't know. Are you guys let down? You, I, I think we both knew what, what would win. But... Clearly, I have more control. Watch your board. What are you doing? Wrong. Uh, wrong I'm, button. You got uh, too many buttons. Okay, I'll give it a say. I wasn't doing anything. And you're like, wow, wow. I got this foot control, which is easy to use. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think, Charles? I'm thinking I'm going to go right back up here and fish and float down. All right, stay tuned and watch the other video. This is done. We're just a little race. It's a short video. I got smoked. But. Now, see. I want to see you try to set the hook on a, what you feel is a big bass. Cause I ain't lie, I watched. Uh, I've done it. It wasn't much different than one you got. I watched uh, Matt Allen off Tactical Bass and fishing, standing up, setting the hook, and I'm thinking, no, I don't know, dude. I know me, I'd fly right out of that yeah. boat setting the hook. I almost fly out of this boat setting the hook occasionally. And this is as stable as you can get. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, we're going, we're still not done fishing. It was a tough bite. That's why we did this little thing just to kill a little extra time, get a video out there. But it was curious, just he wanted to know how fast that'd go. I don't think he's actually seen the speed of it. I can't tell him how fast it'll go because I can't go that fast, but I'm going two mile an hour and he goes flying by me. So he's probably doing five roughly. I don't know how, f I guess, nah, maybe we'll race one day and Charles actually just oaring with my trolling motor and see how fast he can get that thing going just manpower oh, we're doing not horsepower oh, I'll totally smoke you on people power. no i'm talking about me go with the regular you with people power you with your or me with my trolling motor just see if you can go you think you can yeah i know 
Yeah, that thing. Here I go. I'm gonna go. I'm doing full speed into the wind. I'm only going. Yeah, I'm only going. Oh well, I'm, now I'm going two mile an hour. See, Charles is already on us. We're going just two, just over. So yeah, he could definitely go. I'd call it twice as fast for sure. Four mile an hour, possibly five. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure though that your uh, your John boat will smoke that though. Oh yeah. With that, what size you got on it? What size you got on that John boat? That last trolling motor you bought. 55. 55 on that 14 foot John boat. That sucker was crazy. This is a 40, but it's old. And honestly, these boats, for no bigger than they are, are more stable than a John boat for their size. So like if you. You took an eight foot, 10 foot John boat. This is a more stable boat than those. Now 14 and a little different, but anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching guys. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna catch some largemouth bass. Stay looking for that video. I don't even know what it's gonna be called because the bite is tough. We have caught some, 15 maybe, not big bass. We're gonna try to catch some bass. So thanks for watching. Get out of here. Go, get, my fingers aren't working. I can't talk straight and the bass aren't biting today. Yesterday was a whole different game. Watch out for that video. I'm going to call that one Paradise 2. Look for somewhere it says Paradise 2 in the heading. We just flat tore them up. It'll probably actually be a part one and two video. This video is done though. The kayak versus bass boat, two man bass boat. Game over. Get out of here. Thanks for watching. But before I go, that fish came right over there. Charles was fishing this area. I just knew Charles had this area fished out. That bass actually hit it going. I was reeling, I was moving the boat, reeling. That fish came out and took it. So it's one of those things like they're, I think the majority of them aren't hitting, but the ones that are, you got to move, cover water. And then when you hit them, I don't think it's a, there's one. Oh, that's a nice bass. I saw that whole thing take place. Charles is fishing the wrong bait. Whoa, Jesus. As I'm trying to put an end to the show, already did with the showstopper. This, I saw him, I watched him come up and eat that swimming and I was not jigging or nothing. Oh, look at that fish, Charles! Whoa. That fish, I saw the whole thing. That was cool. I don't, I didn't think the camera picked it up. No, it's on. That's normally what happens. Come here, you freaking, that's a fish of the day. Mwah! Woo! Fish of the day at the end of the day. He is not huge, but for what we've gone through today, Charles, look at that. Easy two, probably two and a half pound bass. Man, it's been a struggle today.